क्वेश्चन नंबर 58। द स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट टू द कर वाई माइनस एक्स फाइव होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स एक्स इंटू वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर एट द पॉइंट वन कॉमा थ्री इज सो अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव सिंपली वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग वी गेट टू इंटू वाई माइनस एक्स फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड विद डी वाई बाई डी एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स फोर इक्वल्स दिस गिवस मी वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू टू एक्स करेक्ट नाउ वी नीड द स्लोप एट वन कॉमा थ्री सिंपली पुट x equals 1, y equals 3 to get the slope that is dy by dx as 8. Let's move to the next question that is 59. Let a, b, c be positive integers such that b by a is an integer. If a, b, c are in GP and the arithmetic mean of a, b, c is b plus 2, then we have to find the value of some expression. A, B, C are in teaser. These are in GP. Ratio B by A, that is common ratio, is also an integer. Let's say the numbers be A, A R, A R square. Now the arithmetic mean of these numbers is given to me B plus two, that is A R plus two. Cross multiply and simplify to get a multiplied with r square minus 2r plus 1 is equal to 6. It's a perfect square. So a into r minus 1 whole square is equal to 6. Only possibility for getting integers we have a must be 6. R minus 1 whole square should be 1. When we say r minus one whole square is one, we find the possibility as one or minus one, but minus one is not possible, giving me a equals six. Put a equals six in this expression, we obtain thirty six plus six minus fourteen upon six plus one. That is four. That's clear. So let's move to the next one. Let's go for question number sixty. That is last question of paper one. The value of integral zero to one four x cube multiplied with second derivative of one minus x square whole five dx. A simple question of integration that can be simplified either by differentiating it twice or we can directly apply by parts to this function. Integral zero to one four x cube into Right. So, applying by parts to this question, we get 4x cube multiplied with integral of this part. Integral means one derivative will be over. It gives me d by dx of 1 minus x square whole 5 within the limit 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 12x square into d by dx of 1 minus x square whole 5 into dx this one 4x cube multiplied with 5 1 minus x square whole 4 into minus 2x limit 0 to 1 minus 12 times Again, applying by parts, x square into one minus x square whole five zero to one limit minus integral of zero to one two x into one minus x square whole five dx. This is clear. Now, when we apply limit to this part, when we put one, it gives you zero. When we apply zero. 
other two terms make it zero so this term becomes zero similarly for this part on applying one it goes to zero on applying zero it goes to zero so this is also zero we are left with simply this integral now d by dx term is over we can simply put 1 minus x square as t put 1 minus x square as t to get minus 2x dx is equal to dt and integrate it to solve to get the solution for this question this is clear so on simplifying we obtain integral as 2 so this is about question number 60 that is the last question of paper 1 je advanced 2014 so this is all about paper 1 thank you